Next question. There's a billboard outside of Grand Rapids, Michigan, paid for by the DNC that says you are powered by Trump and MAGA. What's your response? My, uh, the, the DNC is saying because I, because one of my PACs, which I have nothing to do with, legally can have nothing to do with, accepted money from a Republic, traditionally Republican donor, that somehow this should disqualify me from, uh, from people voting for me. Uh, we get money from Democrats, from Republicans and independents, and I'm proud that we're reaching across party lines, that we're trying to bridge the divide. President Biden says that he's trying to bridge the divide, but, but uh, this is just the opposite is saying that you know there's a big difference in, in, you know that you're not really american if you're republican and i just don't believe that i think we ought to have presidential candidates that are receiving support across political divides we need to bridge the divide and heal this country. you've chosen not to attack other candidates um they've attacked you the democrats in particular why do you think they're doing that why do i think they're <laughs> i think that they don't they have a candidate who doesn't want to debate and so they have to try to win the election by litigating against people, by trying to get people off the ballot, by denying me ballot access, uh, by litigating against the other uh, candidates to get them disqualified. So we won't have to do democracy in our country. And you know, I feel like we should be modeling democracy around the world. I don't want to win this election because I'm not a fan of President Trump's I don't, I don't want to win this election by disqualifying them legally. I want the American people to decide who they want to be and have as president, and I want to beat him in fair and square on a level playing field. And I think it's distressing that the Democrats don't want to do that.